asked for a, a quote from Toko. I'm like, all right, here you go. <laughs> and they probably regret getting a quote from Toko. <laughs> anyway, any other questions before I just start rambling about nonsensical things? <laughs> yes. Uh, you did Toko. Did he also do show? Oh, I did not. Okay. So the casting for Duncan Rumba was a little weird in that me and Aaron Fitzgerald, another voice actor, just kind of split the characters of Junko and Toko. I won't necessarily explain as much on the Junko side because I guess there's spoilers there. But uh, with Toko, yeah, I did normal Toko or normal Fukawa, and she did the one with the scissors and the tongue. That's, that's a very descriptive decision. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you guys feel at any point you have questions about stuff, always feel free to raise your hand, or I'll just, I can, yes. Do you play the games that you uh, do your voice at? I'm actually kind of lame. I will, I'll watch them on YouTube, like I'll watch the playthroughs. It's not too cheap to buy all these new fangled game consoles. I have a Sega Genesis. Like, yeah. <laughs> so all these games are like, on the Vita, or the Xbox One, and I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> Go for classic. Plus, I get really frustrated with video games. Mm. I'm very, like, I like to get things right, and if I don't get it right the first time, or the first, like, five times, I get really frustrated, and I don't have the perseverance. So mm -hmm. I think it's better for everybody if I just don't play them that often. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yes. They both have their fun parts. The question was, do I prefer voicing video games or anime better? And I have to say, so anime is fun because, you know, a lot of times, especially if you're already a fan of the show, it's kind of cool to be able to be like, I'm putting my voice to something. Like, the animation already exists, so you can already see sort of the finished product. And that is nice because you can kind of get a guideline of like, what you're supposed to be doing. Because uh, a lot of times in video games, you just have a script, and you've never seen the script before. You don't get it before you come in. Like, once once you get cast, they're like, hey, great, come in to record on this day. And you go into the booth, they're like, okay, so today you're going to be playing a little boy who turns into a gingerbread muffin, and uh, he, you know, he's got a list. Go. And then you kind of just have to, like, jump into everything. So with anime, you at least get to preview the clips before you record each line. You get to see kind of what the context is. But I have to say, video games are probably a little bit more fun for me to voice just because I get to act a little more freely. It depends on the game. Sometimes you have to match sync. Um, not necessarily like to picture like you do with dubbing or anime, but like they'll have a, a Japanese file and you have to match it within a certain time code. So they'll play the clip in Japanese and they're like, okay, that's 0.9 seconds. You need to make the line as short as that or shorter. So sometimes there's constraints like that, but usually with video games you get a little bit more especially American-made video games, they'll animate to you. So I have to say, I feel like, as much as I love anime, I think video game voice acting is a little more freeing. You can, you can kind of just do whatever. And also, you're not gonna have somebody be like, well, they did it so much better in the Japanese. <laughs> you know, like, right? Because it's, there was no Japanese. So, hello, you're in this in Neptune. Hi. No, I was late, I think, my own panel. <laughs> Anyway, so what were some of the questions? Oh, you weren't there. I'm like looking at my sister being like, tell me what were some of the questions people were asking in the last thing. Like, I was just like, I was like, ask me my opinion about unicorns, or ask me about this and that and that. And then, yes. Um, can you tell us like a right now, like, funny story? That's like happening. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. Do you have a favorite for dinner? <laughs> um... Well, I mean, there's a lot of like really weird, awkward stories that happen to me. Like I'm that person who's like, will share my statuses. I'm, I'm like, you know, ac I accidentally drank breast milk once when I was babysitting. Oh, uh, ew. They were like, how many you want in the fridge? I'm like, three. <laughs> so I can you babysit. That's one of the purposes they need. They're like, how many you want in snacks? And so they had, and if they didn't have it in a bottle, if they had it in a bottle, I wouldn't have done it. But it was in just like a little like carton. I was like, what's this? Is this like horchata? Um, I don't know if you're like, in LA we have that. It's like, it's like, it's like a, 
Oh, that's racist. Me looking at Maria, <laughs> being like, it's this. <laughs> <That's racist. laughs> no, no, she said that. Yes. It's like rice milk, normal milk, and like cinnamon or something. <laughs> anyway, it's delicious, and I thought that's what it was. And then later I found it, and I'm like, that does not taste like horchata. And I found out that that was that. Was that. <laughs> um, there was another time, oh my gosh, this is like a sitcom moment, but it was like really painful. <laughs> where I was at my friend's engagement party, and we were all hanging out, and I was trying to like impress his fiance because I really wanted her to like me because I like couldn't tell if she like she liked me or not. And I'm like, please just think I'm cool. And so we were talking, and they were working on a web series. So I was asking them how their web series was going, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna we're talking about like pitching it to a network, maybe getting it picked up. I'm like, that's great. Who are you trying to pitch it to? And they're like, oh, we're thinking NBC. And I'm like, that's great. I freaking love NBC. NBC's got all my favorite comedies. They've you know they got Parks and Rec, they got Thirty Rock, they got this and that and that and that. And then for some reason I started being like, you know what I hate? I hate CBS. Like it seems like I started just like going on online. I'm like, I'm like CBS is just, I don't know. It's all like old people shows. Like my mom watches CBS all the time, and I just kept going on and on. I'm like, I'm like, I don't find any of their sitcoms funny. Like I don't like, I, I don't like Mike and Molly. I don't like this and that. And I, and I just kept going. And my friend Jamie was getting this face, and he's just kind of like. <laughs> and I'm like, what's wrong with Jamie? Shut up. Um, <laughs> I just kept going, and I kept being like, I think what I finally said, was, I, I was like, basically, uh, CBS is for a good, or like mediocre pilots go to die. Oh. And then I, and then Jamie's face was just like, <laughs> and then I finally realized that the Caitlin was the girl that I, the, the fiance that I've been trying to like be like, I want her to be my friend. And like I look over at her, I'm like, oh, you work for CBS, don't you? <laughs> and, like, and then Jamie's like, tell her what position you are. And like she's like, she was in show development, oh. so she basically has to like approve all the shows that get put on the air, and she like I guess helps cultivate them and chooses them or something like that. I'm just like, and you're, you're just trying to backtrack. You're like, uh, well, I, I liked how I met your mother before I got really bad. Or I like, uh, and then I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I mean, I like the crazy ones where you canceled it. Ah, I can't. I just like, Stop. She's like, just stop, stop, stop talking. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And like, there's no way to, because if you're ambiguous about something, that's different. You could be like, if you'd just been like, oh yeah, CBS is fine, then later you could be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you can't be like, CBS is where mediocre pilots go to die. And then be like, but I really like your network. I think it's great for her. So that's pretty much a summary of like my life. I feel like I have a lot of moments like that where it's just like, really? <laughs> so, yes.